Hello Virgo, welcome on my channel Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your September 2023 tarot reading and prediction for you guys. What's happening in this month for you? Keep an open mind. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box. You can reach out to me if you want to. Sun, Moon, Rising, any placements in Virgo, you can write this reading. You can also switch the roles and energies if you're cross water. Do not get scammed. I will never contact you. I will never message you. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is given below. Let's see, Virgo. What is happening for you this month? Virgo. Four of Wands. Ooh. What's... Are you getting married? And Ace of Cups. Looks like yes. The Death God. Ooh. What's happening? Page of Pentacles, Page of Coins, that's the Page of Pentacles, obviously. We have the Knight of Swords. Oh my god, that's... And Page of Swords, interesting. I want to get clarity on the Death card, please. What is the Death? Queen of Pentacles, that's you, Virgo. He or she, whoever you are, that's you. We have the devil. Ooh, Capricorn. Devil, five of wands, seven of pentacles, four of cups, the moon card. Some of you, okay, there, are, there's definitely a lot of obstacles in, and there is a challenges. Okay, there is a lot of obstacles. And maybe you have no idea why it's all happening, okay? It could be about to get married, or maybe some of you, you're having a difficult time to balance your money, your finances. Um, you could be struggling through some type of a depression. I can see that with the moon and devil. There's a lot of struggle. There is something that it's become your addictive or, or let's say um, obsessive pattern. Okay. You keep fighting for it with the five of wands or, or there are some challenges. There are some things that you keep waiting for it. You are thinking when it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. But whenever you think about when, you don't have answers with the moon card, obviously. It's something that is, is like... It's not in your control. Now, we also have the Four of Cups. Some of you, you're feeling bored and tired and exhausted already. Like, when I'm going to be happy? When I'm going to be... Uh, when, when I'm going to get out of this karmic situation? When I'm going to get over this uh, challenge that I'm going through it? Some of you, you sometimes feel so lonely and alone. You think that nobody understands you. But there's something about, I think, it's a trauma bond that you're really... Um, you're struggling with some type of a trauma here, uh, Virgo. Okay, now listen to me what I'm saying. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, we have a Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy here. And there's a lot of air here too, air and fire. Could be a little bit air and fire. So first thing came up first in my mind when I saw Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. Wow, I said, wow, and the death. Okay, that's you. So if you're single right now, you're not going to be single. Definitely you will get married. Don't think like these negative thoughts and patterns like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm getting old, if I will get married, if I will be with someone. Because I know I can understand there is definitely a lot of obstacles and challenges to get some type of opportunity with the Four of Cups. You're waiting for some type of a perfect offer, perfect job, perfect partner. Okay, and it's not happening. Okay, now some of you, you could be in a relationship and there's a struggle between you and this person on the same page. Uh, with the moon and the devil, it's like, Someone is really obsessed. Someone is like, could be trying to very control this situation. With the five of wands, there's a conflict. There is definitely some type of a, um, interference involved here. Either interference of other people or interference of internal battle. You know, like someone is definitely not knowing the answer. Like, what do they want? But they are just waiting for the right thing to happen or waiting for the right time um, to get over these all obstacles or challenges so they can be there now i'm also feeling this could be someone okay with the death card you're not there anymore so there's no contact between you and this person there's a separation but someone is definitely keeps stalking you with a page of swords this is someone from your past very good this is someone from your past with the death and and the queen of pentacles energy i think there's a separation between you and this person there is no contact at all you make the boundaries you're like i'm sorry we're not going to talk to ever again so there is someone from your past who is watching you, I think, and obsessed with you or addictive to you. They're still waiting that that one day you will be together. I think this is an air sign, definitely an air sign or it could be Scorpio that who is really obsessed with you or it could be Capricorn or water sign. Yeah, King of Swords and Ten of Swords. This is someone who was emotionally unavailable. They were detached. They were cold. Some of you, this could be coming from trauma from your parents, like they, your, maybe your parents got divorced or maybe let's say 
uh, your father was abusive or your parents was abusive they were emotionally unavailable they were detached and cold people so i think this is that's working in your adult relationships and i can understand because there's something about trauma here you could be also dealing with someone who has a trauma okay like they could be acting like cold avoidant and attached detached this person is cold and detached they're acting like they don't care but they do that's a problem like this person show you something but they they're feeling something else now if you are um you know struggling to connect with your emotions or feelings where go i can really understand like you don't want to be vulnerable you don't want to feel emotions you don't want to be you know um, to fall in love or to trust anyone i think this trauma is coming from your family this is trauma coming from your partner uh, maybe your exes maybe your past relationships because you still need to work on it you still need to heal on it it's not like every relationship is going to be challenging um challenging but it's look like you make it challenging uh, where go there is definitely a lot of challenges here between you and this person whoever you are connecting with um because i'm seeing with the four wands 11 11 and i'm also seeing the two birds here so this could be your soulmate or twin flame and we have 11 11 and the two birds is there so this is someone who literally is is falling in love or they already in love with you but they don't know how to express it they don't know how to show you So this person is realizing their mistake now with the four of wands and ace of cups like they could fall in love with this separation because you start talking you said goodbye you're like okay fine um if you're not putting the effort then we are done this could be also someone who is a divorcee or you are a divorcee virgo I'm watching this video or you could be dealing with someone who is a divorcee they could be coming out of from some type of a separation pain trauma they're working on it this person could already have a kids um either your kids involved or this person kids involved or you could be worried about someone that who has kids in your family or 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 maybe about yourself like you could be getting divorce or or divorce person or you have a kids so there are definitely a lot of issues here i think uh, in this reading i can see that now we have a knight of swords and this this giving me the same person vibe knight of swords page of swords king of swords like this person is a very analytical they're very logical they they think um they could be very harsh with their words and rude with their words so this person's words really cut you through it so either this is a partner or this is someone that you are in love this is someone that you're living with right now could be a partner could be a lover could be your parents um could be any family member that you're still in the same house like this person's words are really cutting through it but but let me tell you once you will understand why they're behaving this way you will understand that this is a trauma they also have a trauma and they're they're really it's like uh you know exchanging their trauma to you so don't do it because if you want to if you don't want to be like this person whoever this person is is in your family partner or whoever you're dealing with if you don't want to be like this you really need to go through it this change and transformation you really need to go through this all pain once in in all and you need to embrace yourself that's how you're going to attract the love of your life otherwise this is going to be very challenging and you're going to see in your relationship dynamic too This could be uh, even your mother, okay? Like you could have a mother trauma or father trauma, I don't know. This is definitely your trauma. So if you're not going to work on this right now, then you're going to definitely always face the challenges or issues in your own marriage or in your relationship. Okay? Now, I'm seeing this could be someone who is who's definitely were very detached and cold with you. They were very um, you know, impulsive. This person definitely have a eyes on you like a hawk. Look at this. they're watching your every move they're watching you what you're doing they're watching and observing who you are talking i'm talking about a relationship wise so this is someone from your past with this uh 10 of swords you you ended the relationship with but they're really obsessed with you and this person still think that you will come back this is giving me the vibe of avoidant uh, attachment type of a person they're very masculine and you can see that with the queen of pentacles this is a very nurturing very feminine energy So this person really need to get into their feminine energy because feminine energy is very nurturing, very loving, very caring, very gentle. So if you don't want to be like um anyone, any role model, you don't see your parents or anyone, your partner, you know, role model, then definitely you need to get into this into this feminine energy so you can attract the love of your life or someone that you can have a very happy family with. So you're not going to be the toxic parent for your kids, for some of you. Okay? Um or you could be dealing with someone who is very controlling very this is someone who secretly obsessed with you to be honest i'm not going to lie this is a relationship this is someone who secretly obsessed with you but they're really they cannot give you their heart they have issues this person cannot trust anyone the problem is that but i think they're changing you will see the big change in this person 
you will see the big change in this person the way they're going to communicate they're going to talk the way they're going to express themselves so some of you this is you also that whoever this person is in your family that you're living together with right now or whoever you're dealing with i think you need to face this person and talk about this issue so once you're going to talk about this issue to this person literally it's, it's look like it's going to happen like you're going to release the trauma and that person also going to understand what they did to you because i'm seeing the sun here it's definitely about childhood it's about children it's about happiness uh some of you this is your soulmate that you're connecting with you're dealing with there could be a good news here for some of you it's a pregnancy i'm saying there could be a good news about pregnancy uh some of you you could be getting married or getting pregnant because i'm seeing that there's a good news in the family by the way uh you could be also shifting a house somewhere or you will uh be happy about a child you will be receive some type of a good news about a child now we have a page of pentacles that definitely talk about an apology coming from someone okay someone can uh, can apologize to you someone wants to talk to you someone going to send you a message they maybe want to talk about this issue so once you're going to face this issue with this person everything is going to dissolve everything is going to be solved between you and this person but you both need to forgive each other you both need to understand that we both have a trauma we both have issues but this person could be literally can become so toxic and narcissist if they are trying to very controlling the situation because that's how they learn this is giving me the toxic masculinity vibe uh, or toxic uh, you know masculine vibe doesn't matter if it's a male or woman um male or female but they have a toxic masculinity masculine toxic masculinity is a controlling dominating possessive i want this way i want so that is the relationship i think this person finally going to apologize to you for what they did for what they try to control you try to play the games with you they're sorry uh, some of you it could be a new love coming okay that you're going to forgive and end up a relationship with this person and you will finally choose to be maybe get married again to be happy again to free, feel free from this situation or you will forgive each other because you will see the big change in this person so there will be a union happening between you and this person i'm also saying you could be receiving a good job could be a new job or 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 there is some type of a new source of income you you may be creating something in your own family or creating maybe purchasing a property for yourself or for your kid shifting a house maybe also here the butterfly yes it's about healing it's about transformation your relationship is definitely going to evolve with this person i think you gone through this all phase with this person already or maybe by yourself uh, alone i think virgo you already done your healing and now this is a time to feel feel as you know free your soul and work with your, with your inner child okay and then you both are ready i think the not enough yeah this is someone who definitely make you feel you're not enough or Are uh, you always felt like you're not enough? So it's definitely talking about trauma. This is someone who wants to meet you, and I think once you're gonna meet with each other, you will talk about this all issue with each other. Everything is gonna, you know, solve out. Yeah, this is gonna be unexpected and sudden uh, confession from this person that they like you, they have feelings for you, they love you, but maybe they never have this, you know, chance to tell you. Maybe they never have this opportunity to tell you. I think this person was playing games, and that's what they are brought up in the family. Okay. Now this is coffee cup. This is this is someone literally is gonna ask you maybe suddenly unexpectedly that they wanna meet you. This is also someone who may be going to confess her feelings to you, and you maybe have no idea because you are this healing source for this person. You really make them so happy, or you could be even falling for someone. It could be a new relationship. But others of you, I think it's a girl with a snake. You already know who I'm talking about. Empath and narcissist connection here. You make the boundaries, and this person definitely cannot. They they definitely gonna change. I think you're gonna see the big change in this person. If you if you think they're not changed, then definitely they're not for you. Move on. So that's your reading. I'm gonna see you later. Bye.